Hey guys, and welcome to the show. Today, we're gonna talk about Focal's universal ISU 200 eight inch component system. So stay tuned. So the Universal Series from Focal was designed to be a factory upgrade, but still keep installation simple, but have premium sound quality that comes from it. It will work equally with deck power, as well as if you were to add an amplifier. Now the eight inch is something new that came out in 2018, and we're finally getting our hands on it for an install. So today we're gonna unbox this guy, tell you everything that it has, and also show you it in a car. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and see what comes in the box. Now inside the box are three things. We have the owner's manual slash installation guide. We have this guy here. This is gonna be all our parts, accessories, and crossovers. Now, the one thing about the Universal Series that is unique is the crossovers. It doesn't come with one of the big boxy style crossovers. What they've done is they've broken the crossovers out in their individual pieces. What we have here is the tweeter crossover. And you'll notice there's three wires on the tweeter crossover. And what they have is stickers on them. This one says car, this one says display. When you're installing it in the car, this is made to work for the car. And then if you're installing it in a showroom display this is made to go there basically it's just an attenuation for the tweeter next we have the mid base crossover there again these are made to just plug in at the speakers two bags of screws you have this pod here that is designed to mount the tweeter it's designed to sit something like this here and then the tweeters themselves it simply unlocks and it'll come out. Now this is made out of a metal, so until you're ready to actually use this, go ahead and leave the cover on so that you don't damage that. Now the speakers come packaged with a cover over the top to prevent any damage occurring to them. Inside the bag, they do give you a thin foam gasket. New to this series of speakers is these red little bumpers here. They're rubbery. Now here's what you're looking at here for the eight inch. Now a little bit about this speaker. The membrane is made out of their polyglass. The tweeter is an aluminum magnesium. Power handling is 80 watts RMS with peak power of 160. They have a sensitivity of 93 dB. Their impedance is four ohms and the frequency response is 40 to 21,000 Hertz. Now that we have that out of the way, what is the plan for this speaker? Well, pretty cool actually. We're working on an F-150. And though I know you're shocked at that, what we're going to do is replace the factory six by nine with the eight inch woofer making a new panel for it. Because you can see this particular speaker is extremely wide, which is perfect for an eight inch. Now just comparing the two, the eight is going to be bigger. Now not all six by nines can be swapped out for this eight inch. You do have to have a wider area in order for it to fit. But some of them you can like this, so hey, awesome. So the first thing we need to do is make a baffle to mount an eight inch instead of a six by nine. Now both Metra and Best Kits make a six by nine adapter for that car they don't make an eight inch so we're gonna head over to the router and router out the right size now before both those manufacturers made templates for the car we would make them from scratch this just happens to be the Ford template that we have this is what we would make when we were putting in a six and a half so we're going to make something just like this but with an eight inch hole into a panel like that now what we found works best is a half inch material and in this we're going to be using some Sentra what we want to do is go ahead and router two of these out now if you need help getting to this step here we do have a video that shows you how to router out an adapter out of the factory speaker so let's go ahead and cut some half inch and get started Now we have our basic shape. Next, we wanna go ahead and put the cutout for the woofer in here. For that, we're going to take some of these, these are pre-cut circle guides that we have. This one just so happens to have a diameter of seven inches on the inside, which is perfect for this. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this onto here and router us a hole. Now we have our basic template. We're gonna go ahead and get the factory speaker out and test fit it 
to make sure we have enough depth. Fernando's gonna hold up the new spacer, grab the woofer, and check our depth. Now, like we said, one of the advantages of this is that they are made to be used in factory locations. Depth usually isn't gonna be an issue, and in this case, it's definitely not an issue. Yeah. There is tons of room for this speaker. Yeah. All right, so now that we know they're gonna fit, we're gonna go ahead and foam all this up so we have no rattles, do a little roadkill on the door here, and then we'll come back and show you how to hook up the crossover. While he's doing that, we're gonna go ahead and get one of these A pillars off and take a look at how to put the tweeter in. So the factory A pillar has the tweeter mounted in it in this location here, and we want to put our new Focal tweeter in the same spot. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this guy here. And as you can see, this mounts using these two tabs like this. So what we just need to do is recreate something that has two tabs that will allow us to screw into this. So to accomplish this, the first thing we're gonna need is a strip of eighth inch Centro and some foam. Now what we wanna do with the foam is go ahead and put it around the outside edge of this tweeter. Being careful not to put any of the foam on the tweeter itself. All we're just trying to do is make it so that it's foam on plastic and not plastic on plastic. Now we can set this on there. Just make sure that you're hitting the foam when you set it on there. Now what we wanna do is cut this strip of plastic to the fatter size first. That's gonna be this top. So it's gonna fit. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's low heat, meaning we don't need a ton of heat to mold this. What we wanna do is go ahead and heat this up, and we're gonna mold this thing into place. But before we do that, we want to change the size of this other end over here to the thinner. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this short, then we'll measure here to get an idea of how thin this needs to be. We'll test fit it, and it fits. All right, now we'll grab our heat gun. Now this piece is gonna be hot, so go ahead and put on some gloves so you don't burn your fingers. And once we have this totally pliable, we'll go ahead and put it into place, lining up our tweeter. Pinch it into the tweeter. And the nice thing about this is you can really work it into all the dips and creases of the tweeter just by pressing. And if you don't get it right the first time, no problem. Just heat it up again, it'll go flat and you can do it again. Just kind of keep pressing it, holding it in place until it cools. So once it cools, what you'll have is a mount that conforms to our two screw provisions and also to the tweeter itself. You can see where it even got in the dip in the back of the tweeter. Now we can pull this out and we have a perfect mount for the tweeter. As you can see, the creases of the tweeter are in there. That's gonna hold that tweeter in place and make it a nice solid mount. Now all we have to do is drill two holes to screw it back in place. Now let's take a look at the tweeter crossover itself. How this is designed to attach is just by simply sliding these rubber things over this, and then this is going to attach in the car. These aren't exactly the easiest terminals to use, so what we'd like to do is go ahead and solder these together, and then we'll put our connections over here. Now the display lead, we're gonna go ahead and cut that short and we'll put some shrink wrap over the end of that. We'll go ahead and add on our bullet style quick disconnects that we like to use. And then we'll use some Tessa tape to finish dressing up the wire. Now the last thing we wanna do is polarity test the tweeter. Even though this has a silver and copper on here, in most cases silver would be considered ground, we just wanna verify that. And it is. We're gonna add some shrink wrap to it so we have a nice red for positive and black for ground. That way, if anyone has to take off this pillar, they'll have a clear indication of what is what. So we've gone ahead and got the speaker mounted with a fast ring and some road kill around it. The last step is gonna be adding in the crossover. A lot of you guys would probably wanna put this behind the speaker, but the shrink wrap is a great place for moisture to get in, so we don't wanna do that. So what we're gonna do is we went ahead and we added a pigtail off of the woofer. We're going to add this in right here between the factory wiring here and the speaker itself, and then we'll go ahead and tape that up and come back and take a look at it. So now we have the crossover mounted and zip tied into place. We have our connections right here so that we can disconnect it and surface the speaker 
quicker if we need to. We're gonna go ahead and get this door panel back on, get the tweeter mounted in place. And the only thing we have left to do after that is of course, take a listen and see how they sound. Just in case you're wondering, in the rear doors, we're also putting a set of universal speakers into there. We're going with these guys right here. This is the universal ICU-165s, built on the same basic idea, just it's a coaxial six and a half. And because it's a regular six and a half, we're gonna be using this guy here, BKF. SB1502 six and a half inch adapter for the factory speaker. So the mount looks like this which mirrors our factory speaker that we've taken out. And these particular mounts, if you need to, these little plastic pieces here will snap off to make room for a bigger basket speaker, which we will have to break those off because this speaker has a little bit bigger basket. Now, one other unique feature about the coaxial versions of these, as you can see, it says high or flat. There is a tweeter boost built into these. If you flick the switch, it will give you a boost in the tweeter. Now, because these are going into the rear, we're gonna keep these at flat. We don't need them to be distracting to the driver. We just need some tweeter sounds just for whoever's sitting in the back of the car. Now we're just gonna fast forward so we can actually take a listen to these things and let you guys know what we think about them. So we're finally in the car and getting to listen to it. Yep, it's the next day. I know it seems like it was just the snap of a finger, but I'm not Thanos, so I can't make things happen <laughs> just like that. Okay. We just finished EQing it. We are using the D61200, but these are designed, as I said at the beginning of the video, to work simply as a factory replacement. Also, this is one of those cool speakers that you could just put in a car to upgrade the factory if you want a better sound. But then if you want to amplify it, you get an even better sound. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we're EQing it, which is giving us an even better sound on top of that. It's one of those really cool speakers. As you guys know, we have our favorite songs that we like to listen to. We're gonna go ahead and play that. I wanna run through the So if you're a round speaker guy and not an oval speaker guy, which we know you're out there because we hear it a lot, mm -hmm. you're gonna love this speaker. Yeah. If you're a round speaker guy, the biggest you're gonna fit in here is a six and a half. So they have the integration six and a half, which we've done in these mm -hmm. before, along right. with lots of six by nines. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about this eight is you're gonna be able to put that eight in this door or doors similar to this mm -hmm. and get that nice, fuller round speaker mid bass the mid bass you'd get out of the six by nine but the sound that you like out of your round speaker correct so we hope you enjoyed this video on the integration series eight inch we know a lot of you guys are going to be loving this speaker mm -hmm. and we're glad we could share them with you and our experience as far as putting them into this car it's cool there's yeah. no doubt about it fernando if you please all right if you like this video please subscribe share like you know where to find us Facebook, Instagram, here in YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a nice day as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.